Hey what's going on guys welcome back to this channel I hope you're all doing great now in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a sliced text animation inside HitFilm Express I'm using HitFilm Pro but it will work on HitFilm Express as well so we're going to start off by creating a new composite shot and let's call this animation I'm going to set the duration to like 5 seconds and 90, 20, 10, 80, 30 fps and click on ok then let's create a new text layer and uh, let's type in our text so let's select the text, go to the layout and uh, click on these two icons that are in the center to align our text in the middle. So once you have your text, then just right click on your text layer and click on make composite shot. And you can just re rename it to anything that you want. I'm going to call this text and click on OK. So the reason we do this is if you want to later on change it to a different text, we can do that easily inside our text composite shot. So let's go back to our main comp, which is the animation comp. I'm just going to create a new plane layer and I'm going to call this line so we'll be creating a line and animating it so click on OK and uh, I'm going to use the rectangle mask tool and I'm just going to draw a mask like this or create a line like this all right and then we'll just select the selection tool and now you can see the anchor point which is right in the center we want this anchor point to be on the left Edge. So we had done this before just hold the shift key on the keyboard and just select this anchor point and move it to the left And now we'll go to mask transform and we have the scale unlink it. So let's go to one second in time uh, Set the scale value to zero create a keyframe and let's go maybe Five or maybe ten frames and set the scale value to 100 We want this animation to be fast. So we'll end up with something like this and then you can just position this right in the center by dragging the position value. Now we need to make the bottom of this text fall down. Uh, for that, we need to create a duplicate of this text composite. So Control D to duplicate it. Let's just rename this to text slice. And I'm going to put this at the very bottom. Um, now on this text slice, uh, we just have to create a mask. So use the rectangle mask tool and just uh, create a rectangle like this. And now if we turn off these two layers, the line and the text, you can see we have only masked the bottom of our text and we'll animate it. So we'll go to transform and uh, we'll animate the rotation and the position. So if I rotate it now, you can see that it's actually rotating from the very center over here, uh, from the anchor point over here which is not what we want. We want the anchor point to be over at the bottom left side of this text. So we'll need to change the anchor point and let's just bring it somewhere over here. And now just copy the value and paste it in the position. Copy the Y value and paste it in the position. So our text will be back in the center. And now if you rotate it, it will just rotate it from that point. So I'm going to go after the line. So let's just turn on this line layer to see it. So after the line stops animating, which is it, which is at this frame, one second and eighth frame, I'm going to create a keyframe on rotation and position. So let's go to maybe a second forward and just rotate it like this and also low down the position like that. So you can select the very first two keyframes and convert the keyframes to manual Bezier. And if we now play this, let's turn on the text composite as well, the very first one. And let's take a look. Now, all we have to do is just uh, mask out the text composite. Uh, we have already masked the text slice. We need to mask the text composite. So we can do that simply by copying this mask and pasting it on the text composite. Right. And just also click on the invert mask option. So now if we take a look at it, this is what we have created so far. All right, that looks great. Now we can just turn on the motion blur and that will make your animation much better. If you want more motion blur, you can go to settings and advanced and you can just change the shutter angle to 360 and we'll get more of the motion blur. And if you go to the very first frame, you can see the line going through our text. So we can fix that by just selecting either of these uh, text layers and just move it uh, up or down using the arrow keys on a keyboard. And that will basically fix that annoying line going through the text. Um, but that's just it. That's how you can create the slice text effect inside HitFilm Express. 
I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something new. If you did, then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.